Boxing is a mental sport. Boxing is a strategic. Tr st Damn, that's a hard ass word. Boxing is a strategic sport. <laughs> this fight tonight between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney is going to be crazy. I feel like this this fight gonna be even crazier than Tank and Ryan Garcia. That fight let me down because it was like, bro, you gave up. Like, why you take a nail? You should have just went down, took your little eight, nine seconds, and got right back up and started fighting again. But you, you took a knee, bro. What you doing? He's been able to get in. Another left hook and a right hand by Garcia. And now, oh, Garcia forced to take a knee. But anyway, I honestly want Ryan Garcia to win. I'm not going to lie. I want him to win. I want him to win. But I feel like Devin Haney going to take this away. Because it's something about the quiet ones. It's something about the people that just stay in the cut. Don't say too much. You feel me? He would make weight. What is your reaction to him missing by over three pounds? Um, he's, he's very unprofessional. I'm a true professional. And uh, I, to I told him yesterday his antics will betray him. And uh, this just should start. Tomorrow, the world will see that I'm levels above this average fighter. Something about them that don't sit right with people. And that's why people feel like they need to scream and do the most just to show that they probably more tougher or more better than the quiet person. But I brought the good book out, man. The 48 Laws of Power. And I feel like it's tactics that Ryan Garcia is using out of this book. I feel like he didn't read this book. And he was like, yo, I'm about to use this against uh, Devin Haney because I know I probably can't beat him. I know I probably can't beat him, but if I get in this head, I might have a shot. And I'm not taking nothing away from them two as fighters because I feel like they both are excellent fighters. You feel me? The first law that I feel like Ryan Garcia is using is law number 17. It says, keep others in suspended terror. Cultivate an air of unpredictability. It says, humans are creatures of habit with an unsatiable need to see familiarity in other people's actions. It says, your predictability gives them a sense of control. Turn the tables, which Ryan is doing. Be deliberately unpredictable. Behave that behavior that seems to have no consistency or purpose will keep them off balance. It says taken to an extreme. Ryan is acting extremely crazy right now. Extremely unusual right now. Taken to an extreme, this strategy can intimidate and terrorize. So, in Ryan's eyes, he's like, yo, let me act. I've been playing way too cool for too long. Let me act crazy. If I act crazy, maybe I can intimidate Devin Haney and throw him off. Maybe I can instill that sense of doubt in him for when we get in the ring. I've done it all, and now I'm just ready to kick ass. I'm ready to. I'm going there and just fuck this man up. You don't understand. I'm gonna fuck him up. You don't know what I've been training like. You don't know the vision I have. You now I know I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'll break this whole thing right now. That's how I'm fire. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. Cause we all know in a fight, if you go into it like, yo, I don't know if I'm a win. We already know you lost already. Because if you don't go in that fight with confidence, you will not fight like you have confidence. You will fight like you're a little bitch. So think about it. If you ever get into a fight, do not go in that fight like scared. Like, I don't know if I'm a win. No, go in that fight with confidence. Go in that fight like, yo, I'm going to whoop his ass. I don't care what I got to do. That's what I'm going to do. And we see that's what Ryan is doing. Now, there's another law that he's using. Law number 28. It says interaction with boldness. Now, if Ryan isn't being bold enough. I don't know what videos y'all watching because all over social media, he acting like he got these big balls and nobody could beat him. But Tank just laid him down. You feel me? So I don't know what's, I don't know what's gotten into him, man. But he acting real different. But it says interaction with boldness. If you are unsure of a course of action, do not attempt it. Like I said, if you go into a fight and you don't know if you're going to win, don't do it because you're going to move like that. You're not going to move like you're going to win. You go start swinging soft and slow. Like, oh, I don't know if I could beat him. And you go fuck around and lose and get knocked out. 
But it says If you're unsure of a course of action Do not attempt it Your doubts and hesitations Will infect your execution It would affect your execution You will not fight the way you're supposed to fight If you go in scared And that's why I feel like Ryan is Hyping himself up his team is hyping us him his team is hyping him up and he's going in bold saying he's gonna beat this man ass and it's it's believable like everything he's doing right now how he look crazy is believable he really got me thinking like yo he might he might win this fight like he didn't see some things he might win one more one more um where is that oh it's law number 33 it says discover each man's thumb screw everyone has a weakness a gap in the castle wall that weakness is usually an insecurity an uncontrollable emotion or need it says it can also be a small secret pleasure either way once found it is a thumb screw you can turn to your advantage now every time ryan talk about this man mom you can see all over his face that is it, it just sit on right with him but you know anybody talk about your mom like the mom jokes hit different it's like nigga don't bro don't talk about my mom like we can talk about any talk about my sister talk about my brother but don't talk about my mom bro like why you gotta take it there like now you angry and we all know that in boxing you cannot fight on emotion you can't fight off of emotion because boxing is a mental sport boxing is a strategic damn that's a hard ass word boxing is a strategic sport so if you thrown off by emotion then you can't fight like chess you playing checkers ryan garcia keep talking about this man mom right like where your mom where your mom at where your mom at? i don't know what happened to his mom i know his grandma just passed away and i don't know if those two are tied into each other where it will make uh Devin Haney more emotional. I don't I don't fucking know. But he keep getting into his head at every face off. He keep getting into his head, yelling at him, yelling in his face, disrespecting him as a man. And we know as men, even though it's business, only so many times a nigga gonna yell in my face and I'ma just let him get away with it. That's why we see him smack him and push him and all that. Because it's like all right, bro, at this point, this shit disrespect. And you're not about to disrespect me on live TV. So Ryan is doing a good job with getting into this man head, bro. He doing a good job, and I I guess he found his weakness, and he's really getting to him. Because if he didn't, Devin would just still just remain calm. He wouldn't even be like, man, this nigga just talking, like, bro, you been talking bullshit, bro. Like he just smile at him type shit. But we see that he getting in his head, so he he know this man's weakness, bro, and he know he's in a very emotional state right now. So he know if he keep antagonizing him keep going at him he know once he get in that ring he's still gonna be emotional and he not gonna fight strategically and boom ryan may knock him out ryan may catch him with something crazy i already know when the fight start he gonna be talking crazy inside the ring too probably taunting him and all that because the way ryan is acting right now like i said it's unpredictable and that's how you want to act you don't want to act the same way because that's when somebody can read your actions they could predict what you're gonna do next but when you acting like Ryan, you don't know what, man, you don't know what this man going to do when he get in the ring. And he don't got nothing to lose at this point, bro. He don't got nothing to lose, man. But, yeah, man, that's all I got to say. Oh, and this man just lost $1.5 million. So when you take a man's money like that, even though Ryan said he ain't, ain't nothing, bro, he might go in that ring as a different beast. Like I said, I want him to win, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. Devin Haney, a different type of beast, too. But we going to see. That's it. Make sure y'all tune in tonight. Let me know who y'all got down in the comments. Let me know who y'all think is going to win, bro. Like I said, Ryan is Ryan been reading the 48 Laws of Power, man. He been reading that shit. But we going to see what's going down. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. It's a sheet, I mean. Let's get it.